Kevin Oney and Roadman Stockmaster were in attendance. Minutes from the previous meeting were read and approved. There were no correspondence or old business that was presented. New business, fiscal officers, board, and trustee elect Kevin Oney by having him recite and sign an oath of office. This officer announced she had been sworn in by the Central County Judge Rep on December 19th, 2019, to put the association in there. This officer states she needed to supplement money and appropriation budget to cover year end tax payments. They have removed the supplement $219.68 from gas tax fund, other fund account, other um, account to the gas. Sorry, hold on, I'm going to that. They have removed the supplement $219.68 from the gas tax fund account other to the gas tax fund account Ohio Public Employee Retirement System. Checked by Warner, vote Warner yes, Daniel yes, Ziggler yes, motion carried. No other new business was presented. Ziggler moved to close the books for 2019, seconded by Daniel, vote Warner yes, Daniel yes, Ziggler yes, motion carried. The books for 2019 have been officially closed. Bills presented were VSP $32.32, Columbia Gas $315.43. Ohio Edison, $352.55. Ohio Edison, $117.41. High Chief Nurser, Stone Quarry, $429.08. Jake's Custom Egg Repair, $784.93. Frontier, $98.50. Warner moves second by Daniel that offer going bills be allowed and paid. Vote Warner, yes. Daniel, yes. Ziggler, yes. Yes. Motion carried. Warner moves second by Ziggler to adjourn the meeting. Vote Warner yes, Daniel yes, Ziggler yes, motion carried. Meeting adjourned at 8.16 p.m. Any addition to the correction? Meeting of Board of Trustees of Thompson Township was held December 30th, 2019 at the Township House in Flatrock, Ohio for the purpose of reorganization for the year 2020. The meeting was called to order by Trustee Warner at 8.20 p.m. No call Warner President, Daniel President, only President. Guests David Ziegler and Roadman Stockmaster were in attendance. Meeting from the closing minutes, minutes from the closing meeting were read and approved. Minutes from the closing meeting were read Meeting from the closing minutes, minutes from the closing meeting will be proposed postponed until next meeting. Daniel moves second by Owner for 2019 and appoint the fiscal officer as chairman for the election of officer of the 2020. Vote Warner yes, Daniel yes, Daniel yes, I'm sorry. Warner yes, Daniel yes, Owner yes, motion carried. At this time, Trustee Warner handed in a letter of resignation for his position and duties of Thompson Township Trustee. He'll be vacating his term in office prior to the expiration date of December 31st, 2021. The remaining board discussed filling the now vacant position. Oni moved to nominate David H. Ziegler to the now vacant trustee position previously held by Troy Warner with term expiring December 31st, 2021. Daniel seconded the nomination. David H. Ziegler was asked if he would accept the nomination. Ziegler accepted. Vote Daniel yes, Oni yes, motion carried. Fiscal officer swore on David H. Ziegler by having him recite and sign the oath of office. Ziegler has been voted and sworn in and will now presume the duties of Thompson Township trustee. Oni moved. Second by Daniel to nominate Ziegler as chairman of the board to run the meetings. Vote Daniel yes, Oni yes, Ziegler yes, motion carried. Ziegler moved to nominate Daniel as vice chairman. Second by Oni. Vote Daniel yes, Oni yes, Ziegler yes, motion carried. Find my spot here. Fiscal officer appointed Ziegler to chair the meeting. Ziegler moved to keep the dates for the meetings to the first and third Monday of every month at 8 p.m. Therefore, unless the meeting night falls on a major holiday, then the option will be to hold it on the following Tuesday. This year, the board will continue meetings as scheduled regardless of holidays. The motion was seconded by Daniel. Vote Daniel, sorry. Ziegler yes, Daniel yes, only yes, motion carried. Ziegler moves seconded by Daniel to rehire Daniel Stockmaster as roadman to a salary of $4,147.87 per month. Roadman will receive payments on the third meeting, third Monday, meetings of each month and receive 8.68 hours of sick pay per paycheck. Four weeks paid vacation plus 80% of family medical insurance. Stockmaster will see $3,250 annually in an HRA account to help with health insurance deductible. Daniel yes, Daniel yes, only yes, motion carried. Daniel moved to pay any part-time employee $12 an hour as needed. 
Second by Ziegler. Vote Ziegler yes, Yanni yes, Oni yes, motion carried. Oni moved to pay township officials 40 cents per mile for out of town business. The motion was seconded by Daniel. Vote Ziegler yes, Yanni yes, Oni yes, motion carried. Oni moved second by Daniel to pay township officials a monthly salary. Vote <coughs> Ziegler yes, Yanni yes, Oni yes, motion carried. Ziegler moved second by Daniel to appoint Danny Stackmaster a fire inspector for 2020 and unpaid position. Vote Ziegler yes, Yanni yes, Oni yes, motion carried. Oni moved second by Daniel to offer recycling in Thompson Township residents every day of the week with available dumpsters during daylight hours as long as funds are available. Vote Ziegler yes, Daniel yes, Oni yes, motion carried. The trustees were appointed to the audit committee and will meet during regular meetings at least once a month. The trustees and fiscal officer are appointed as records and investment committee. Ziegler moved to hire Troy Warner as a part time employee to help with plowing snow. Oni second the motion. Vote Ziegler yes, Daniel yes, Oni yes, motion carried. Ziegler and Daniel discussed pawing snow duties and responsibilities with trustee only, as this would be his first year doing so. No other new business was presented. Only moved second by Daniel to adjourn, and re adjourn the reorganization meeting and to reconvene January 6 at 8 p.m. The township pass and flat for Ohio vote. Ziegler yes, Daniel yes. Only yes, motion carried. Meeting adjourned at 9.06 p.m. The first thing you need to do is if those minutes are accurate, you can make a motion to approve the minutes as being an accurate. So what happened? It can't be accurate, right? Mm -hmm. So we, I mean, we can approve it. Then? You can approve the minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The minutes are just a, a record of what happened. Okay. Then we'll, oh, okay. Then we'll, okay. Then we'll, okay. Then we'll, okay. we'll, then we'll okay. have a do-over. Okay. So. Any additional questions? Mm -hmm. no. So as, as, as I indicated previously, Mr. Chairman, the, um, the problem with your reorganization meeting was that Trustee Oni, even though he'd been sworn in, he did not, he did not by law become a township trustee until January 1. So he could be sworn in on the 30th, but he cannot actually be a trustee voting and performing uh, duties for the township until January 1. Um, what I heard on the votes of every matter from the reorganization meeting, they were all unanimous, all were three zero. So at the time of those votes, Trustee Ziegler was still an active township trustee. So you had you had you had two 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 vote yes and and uh, on each of those. So I don't think there's any any need to redo any of the any of the motions as far as the hiring of the the road man, the part time, the health insurance, all that. I think those are all all legally sufficient because you had two trustees uh, who who voted on each one of those items. So it's still before the first of the year. Yes, because he was still a trustee under his term that he was fulfilled. So now, as it relates to the vacancy, at this point, we now have you serving the present term, and you're serving. In your present term. So at this point, it would be incumbent on the trustees, the two trustees, to deal with the vacancy. Under Ohio law, you can, um, you have 30 days from the vacancy, which it was December 30th. So with, you know, you have until the 29th of January to appoint a successful trustee. To, to that vacancy, but, uh, there's no there's no procedure in the revised code as to how you do that. Um, you know, if there's a vacancy for you know county reporter, Mike Dell wins the lottery and quits. Um, the the way that process works is the county commissioners by statute can appoint a an acting recorder. Um, that person. Um, is an acting reporter five days after the uh, the it becomes vacant, 
the Central Committee of whatever party Mr. Dell is, which is Republican, so the Republican Central Committee can have a meeting. Uh, they have to publish it twice, and they have to have an actual meeting, and they vote on who the replacement is. It has to be no sooner than five days after the vacancy, but within 45 days. So there's all the rules for, for replacing a trustee. There's none of the rules are in effect. You have 30 days. Once you get to 30 days, you guys lose jurisdiction now. And it goes back to your, your resigning trustee on his petition, if he had people listed as his committee on his petition, then those people pick his replacement. They have 10 days. If they don't do it in 10 days, or if there was nobody listed on his committee, then it goes to the probate judge, and the probate judge appoints whoever he wants as uh, as the trustee. So right now, what's in in your uh, in your hands? Um, you can you can make a motion and and vote right now. Obviously, both of you have to agree. Uh, you can you can put it out for you know people to submit resumes. You can schedule a special meeting. You could put you, whatever you want, but it's it's your it's your decision. Uh, as the two remaining trustees to, to make that decision. And, but it has to be unanimous. So. All right, well, I have a prepared statement. I know a lot of you here are here to hear this. So, uh, Troy Warner's resignation, Township is left dealing with many more issues than the industrial wind turbine projects. It's my duty to work for and protect all the residents of Thompson Township. Dave did get 40% of the vote coming in second place. The roads still have to be cleared in the winter so that not only the 203 people that voted for me can get to work, doctor's appointments, school, pick up their medicine, and for the local mail and other delivery services, but also for the other 1,200 residents. There's 1,403 residents in this township they all depend on the township to run efficiently. Bill and I also need days experience in many dealings with the township. I'm brand new. Bill's got two years of experience. We lost Troy's 14 years of experience. We have um, we have uh, business like road repair and replacement, township cemeteries, mowing, maintenance, breakdowns. Placement of township equipment, um, ditch and culvert issues, and most importantly, negotiating with the Bellevue Fire Department, North Central EMS, whose contract with the township will expire on December 31st, 2021. I'm a very compassionate person. Many of you know, know why, many of you know me, many of you don't know why. Uh, I won't go into it. If you want to know why, you can contact me or some of our close friends and neighbors. Um, the chairman is just a figurehead. Bill's going to be chairman for 2020, and I will be chairman in 2021. And that will leave Bill and Dave to run for re-election in the next one, which will be in uh, 2021. If you don't understand the election, it's this year, fiscal officer and I ran against Dave. I ran against Dave, but um, so every two years, there's two new people in the township. So that's how it works. And in two years, you'll vote on two trustees. So for these reasons, I moved to reinstate Dave Zimmer for Thompson Township trustee. Like I said, most importantly, there's no more that we could do against the Republic Wind Project at this time. Bill and I stand against any future wind development. And I have uh, another resolution that I will bring up in new business, so. I make, I made a motion to reinstate things. Not to reinstate, to appoint, to appoint him to the vacancy. To the vacancy. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be a short term. Can I just ask what the rush is? Do you have 30 days? Can I offer somebody else possibly? I mean, I know you give some good reasons, you know, the snow plowing and other stuff, but I mean, 
there was a reason why he elected you, and you did not get elected him. So there you go. But he just said they have the majority vote of these two right here. It's not going to go any further with these trustees. There's other business that needs to be taken care of. Go to executive session. In a motion. Oh, I need a motion. And say purpose. I need what? I'll move to go into an executive session for potential litigation. I'll second it. Roll on right now. Yes. Yes. Okay, correspondent. Second, you, you second something. What was it? Was it a motion or something? Or was it come out, uh, yeah, come out of executive session. They okay. come out of okay. the, the start of regular meeting. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Any new business? Yeah, I have, I have something. Uh, I got I brought a bunch of copies to pass around to everybody. Grab one, share. Uh, I'll read it out loud to everybody. I made a resolution in opposition to the Republic Wind Project and any future industrial wind turbine projects. 
Whereas the Thompson Township trustees have heard citizens request to intervene against the Republic Land Project, and whereas the previous trustees chose not to intervene despite multiple pleas from citizens of Thompson Township who presented evidence supporting their claims, including damaging and upsetting the fragile karst areas, which may cause flooding issues and contamination of residential wells, decimation of bird and bat populations, shadow flicker, infrasound, loss of property values, etc. And whereas changing the Thompson Township viewscape from scenic rural to industrial sprawl, danger to aircraft, including light flight and aerial crop application, the danger of ice accumulation on the blades being thrown, and whereas this board of Thompson Township trustees is not convinced that over the life of the project, the granting of the pilot would benefit the community. Likewise, with respect to job creation, the Thompson Township trustees are not convinced that the amount of taxes abated would be exceeded by the benefit of gaining relatively few employees. And now, therefore, be it hereby resolved by the Thompson Township trustees that due to overwhelming objection to win projects expressed by the Township citizens to this board, and the board's opinion that tax revenues from such projects do not begin to offer fair compensation for the de degradation of living conditions in the heavy industrial zone to which the township would be transformed by such development. This board opposes the construction of industrial wind turbines by Republic Wind Project and any future industrial wind turbine project that may arise. So I move we accept this resolution. Uh, Nay. <laughs> yes. Three, two, one, pass. Any other new business? Um, do you Yeah, but they're going to do it Yeah. Somebody uh, next tutors requested uh let's see 
the she's requested the financial records for the Thompson Township for the year 2019 that are public record. Um, I received her email. Oh, did you? <coughs> okay. Okay. I don't have. I got it at like two o'clock this afternoon, so I don't. Okay. Yeah, we do that, but I move. Are we finished with the uh, new business? Yeah. Well, I move to take some public comment now. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna have to restrict them to three minutes each, I guess. So that's the standard, or so I was told. Okay. Tony Paradiso. Senate the County Commissioner. Uh, I came here tonight to uh, support Thompson Township, also to support your three trustees. Uh, it's a tough issue. Uh, Dave, I wish you well. Back to the seat you're in. I was in Kevin's seat, if you remember. Uh, I swore in, took over for Holly Stacy. One of the first things we did is pass a resolution at the county level, stating our position anti-win, and I'm very anti-win um, as it sets right now. We're all in support of House Bill uh, 412 and, and the new Senate bill that's been introduced. But uh, I appreciate your uh, professionalism. Welcome to the new trustee. If there's anything we can do to help, uh, we will. The EMS issue, there's a lot of other issues in the county going on. And I want you all to know that I'm aware of that. Uh, we are negotiating, uh, working on a road use maintenance agreement. Uh, we are not going to sign that till we feel um, uh, we've done everything we could to make it better. So uh, that's in process and uh, don't have any update on where, when and where, where that will be, uh, when and where that will be signed. That's all I have. and. Uh, I appreciate Thompson being part of the county and all you guys. You know, it's just a great place to live and be. I live in uh, Pleasant Township, so I'm in Old Fort Schools. And uh, it's nice to live out in town. Somebody asked me who this was. This was Derek Devine, our county prosecutor, just so everyone uh, is aware. He is the county legal officer, so as commissioner, we call him all the time. Uh, he supports all the townships and villages as well, so that's why he's here tonight. You may not agree necessarily with the process, but that's the process, and um, so that's where we're at. But thank you, and thanks for your time. Thank you. My question was kind of what touched on, but I have a question. Can you guys state your names when you? And I'll try to make sure they're recorded. My name is Dustin Austin, so I'm the manager. And my question, Kevin, was more in regards to your resolution that was passed. Were you going to put anything in there about the Roomba, regardless of when it may pass at the county level? What is the goal for the Roomba now that you're going to be putting something up there? Or something? Um, we're working with the commissioners right now We're to, uh, to work it out, and we're going to see what all the options are, but uh, eventually, yeah, it'll, it'll come out to what the room is going to be, and I promise you, it'll be a strong one. Thank you. Maybe in February, we were told. Yep. February, March, maybe. Yes, sir. Okay, John Wilson, Thompson Township. Uh, are you going to have your own separate room up? Thompson Township room uh, well, developed, or is this just going to go along with the county? This is still to be de determined. We're, like we're looking Township, at both. Adams areas. Township has their own. Two you know, townships have yeah, their own. So, I mean, can we develop our own? Anna? It's yeah. possible. Okay. And the other two townships could go with the county as well. They, they yeah. can change their yeah. mind. So, and also, there's also another option. We go with the county in addition to a third party that could audit our uh, our room okay. thank you Bernadette Ferguson please specify what we're talking about as opposed to speaking in acronyms the room is a road use maintenance agreement as Tony uh, 
Okay. As Tony said. Thank you. Okay, sure. This day I did that. I didn't know what a rumor was either. <laughs> yeah. And neither did I. That's my first question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're a nice guy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ferguson at the R.G. Level Thank you. It's so funny. It is funny. How does it look? They could have a cat. Does anybody else have any questions for us? I have a question. Oh, my name is Jerry, and I'm wondering, um, you're talking about that we requested that we be interveners against the land. And I'm under the <clears throat> understanding, and I might be wrong, but if there's one opposed on the board, then we can't be, right? Isn't, isn't that the way it works? No. If there's one no. trustee no. that's no. on the board. No. 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 There's majority rule. Yeah. Majority yep. rule. Yep. That's why there's three. Yeah. Yep. So there's always a majority, majority can be made. Path and like I, like I said, there's nothing we can do further about the Republic Land Project. However, if any future ones arise, then we can deal with them as they come. Toby Hay, I'm the Thompson Township uh, President. Just to, for legality. Legality, legality purposes. When he was sitting here talking about Kevin, you didn't become a trustee till January one, right? Right. So at this um, emergency meeting or whatever you guys called it, December thirtieth or whatnot, that you participated in, I believe, you brought up a few things that were voted on, right? And they passed. Yeah, two votes passes it. I get that. But Kevin won there anyway. Does that make sense? Right. So you might want to go back to your minutes and look at what Kevin had brought up. And you may have to redo them. No, he just said that we didn't have to redo. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is if Kevin won there legally, Kevin was the one that brought it up. Maybe Bill needs to be the one that brings it up. Because, unlike uh, the rate, what, do you talk about anything in specific? No, it's like the rate that, Just go back to the minutes, and if Kevin was the one that brought it up or motioned up, hey, let's do this, and you two voted on it, I get that. Well, yeah, it passes, yeah. but... He didn't. <coughs> if I made motions, you know, three of the ones that I made. Yeah, I, I think you made the expression the one about the recycling. I think. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just saying. For I understand. Later, I, I mean, you heard Derek say that. To make it legal. Correct. <laughs> Well, we can redo it. That ain't no problem. Yeah, right? I'll just do what Derek says. I'm just saying it might be something you want to look yeah. into. Yeah. Thank you, Toby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has it in the minutes. Yeah. Can we do that now? I, I'm waiting. Okay. I mean, I okay. Am I just repeating ourselves if you can get an answer from Derek? Okay. Uh, uh, I'll check with Derek again. <clears throat> Good point. Yeah. Right. Question. Right. Tom Collins here at Thompson Township. And uh, I have a question about the uh, maybe projected projects that might be in hand. Is there anything that the uh, um, big ones that we're facing right now? And I just request about the uh, 178 railroad tracks on 178. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, no. You have to call the railroad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 we can tell them, but. Can we submit a letter to them? Uh, and we are going to do a section of 178. Yeah. But as far as the railroad talk to go ahead and we do what you do. Yeah, call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
from the hell. <laughs> and I agree with you. They do need more. They do need more. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to make a statement. Um, the night after the election, I want you all to know, I called Kevin on the phone. He didn't. And I congratulated him. Oh. When, and I said, Kevin, I want to put everything behind us, and I want to move forward, and I want to work together for the good of township. We may not agree on every subject, but let's work together the best we can. And I mean that, meant that sincerely, and I still do. Right after that call, that's when I started attending meetings to try to start learning the township business. That's where I learned I have to have a CDL to drive the snowplow truck. Um, I went ahead and I took my tests. I, I took my uh, general knowledge test and my air brake test. So I have my permit now. So I'm going to start driving with, with Bill and Dave. I'll, I'll be able to drive as long as they're my passenger or Danny, stockmaster. So, and I'm also learning from a good friend of mine um, so I can get my bona fide CDL by. I have until June 20th to get it. I really hope to uh, go over to Norwalk and take the test sooner than that. So, because that's one of, one of my goals. When I became trustee, that's one of the things I always wanted to do is to be as good as John Good was and get out there and get them roads clear so we can all get to work, you know, and get the school buses out. Maybe we'll have less delay days and, and less trouble. So, I appreciate Dave's call. I was. I was really tickled about that. I don't want to be like one. You know, I've always said, I don't want people to say, you know, I, I don't want to be a career politician. I want to do the best I can for you folks, honestly. I, I live here, so I've lived here for 28 years. My, my wife and I raised a couple kids here. Love the township. Love the neighbors, absolutely. We're, I feel we're closer to my neighbors here than any neighbor in town would be. So. Thank you all for, for putting me in this place. Anybody else? I move we adjourn. I'll say the thing to do. We're not a bell. We do have reports.